Hello everyone, I'm Comic Book Ben, and in today's video I'll be talking about uh, my free comic book day experience and some comic books I picked up, even though I didn't pick up any actual free comic book day comics, I'll explain why I just submitted. But first, I gotta tell you a little bit about my contest, I have yet to actually make the video. I've just been super busy in the last couple of days since uh, my last video of Minstock Trades Hall, and I just haven't gotten around to actually making the video, uh, I have it all planned out, I actually have a... Uh, whole paper thing I'm not going to show you the front because I don't want to give away any information but so basically that's why I haven't been doing my have been in the contest here yet but expect it in the next day or so but uh first off uh I've got something here to see the look at uh I'm being invincible invincible collection volume four right now so uh first off uh I went I was, so basically I was planning this afternoon to drive up to, drive to a city, I'm not going to give any information about it, go to a, go to a comic book store, and then go to a mall in this city, and meet my family there for lunch and stuff, but, but, uh, but, uh, so I get to this comic book store, it's about a half hour drive, huh, with me, made good time, you know, 45 minutes maybe at the most, we get there, so there's two things going on, there's a farmer's market, and if you know what I'm talking about, please don't rant out this, release the name of the shop because I know there's probably a few people who live in the area I live in and they probably go to the shop because it's one of the most popular ones. And so if you know what I'm talking about, please don't reveal it because I don't want to like, let people know that this shop's necessarily, not necessarily bad, but not the best experience I've had. So uh, that's where I get my pull list from also. So uh, I get there and there's just, there's no parking. I feel like there's a farmer's market right next to the shop. The shop's kind of like in this like hard to find area, and then there's this massive line going down like around the corner of the shop to the back, where I think they have the back issues, but I didn't see any back issues actually in the shop, and down through the park, almost to the farmer's market. And uh, I asked this guy by the front door of the shop, where do you actually go in to buy Romo comics, not free comic book day stuff? And he said, well, that's line for the free comics. And I said, okay, I'll wait in line. Thinking maybe we'll go down really relatively quick. I only waited in it for 15 minutes. I made a move. Mine moved up 10 feet. Okay, it was kind of ridiculous. And I'm sorry for ranting about this. Uh, but it was not the best free comic book experience they experienced. But it, it redeemed itself. I probably just going to end up buying the comps online. Even like $20 on eBay or something like that. For all of them, you know, spend the money. I don't mind it. But, uh, so... So I get there, I'm waiting for this line for 15 minutes, the line keeps getting longer and longer behind me, and it's barely moving. There's like some booth set up, set up right there, there's this huge line, and I'm sure it's like the path in the room, and everyone's taking forever. And I said, I'm just gonna give up on this line, it's not worth it, honestly, to me. They're only giving away three, like three, like the number, one, two, three, free comic books. And uh, I thought not to get any of those, and uh, I just decided I'm just gonna buy them on EV or EV or line. And you know, unfortunately, I can't support the store because I had an issue with the line. I could have gone to another store, but I have to go to the mall afterwards to meet family for lunch. So essentially, I go in the store and I'm like looking around and stuff like that. And uh, and I um, so I get uh, a few back issues, which I'll show you here. My polis came off in the mail from the shop. Which I actually was at the shop today, which is interesting. Oh, it's Verizon Saturday. But, uh, so I buy a couple of packages, I'll show you a couple other issues I've gotten and, uh, for the mail and stuff. So, yeah, it wasn't necessarily the best, but it wasn't the worst. I got some stuff out of it. I was concerned about some graphic novels, but I decided not to. So, for the most part, I kind of will think I'll pass on free comic book days. Uh, especially that shop. Um, next year, I'll probably check out another shop, another shop closer. To my house um so yeah well enough of that rant uh it's not like it was bad it wasn't like i got like a bent book or anything like that in the mail or the cgc gave me a 9.2 and it was like a clear 9.8 or anything like that but i mean i could have waited in the line but i didn't want to wait for an hour in a line to just get three free comic books and instead of paying ten dollars and i was like honestly it's not worth it to me you know that's the point of the shop but then i feel bad for like you know, it's hard to explain. So, I'll be showing some comic books. Enough of that ranting and stuff. I've gone almost five minutes. I cut some of this out. Got Saga Chapter 51. 
uh, this came in through, God, I hope this subscription service ends soon, but it was direct, it sh I swear it should end by now, but I might be the last issue, and then, I don't use engine or direct, trust me, I'll keep going hard another 10 minutes with that, about that search, but I won't go into Got DC Nation, they sent me, I bought, bought this one at the shop, and then they sent me one free for our polis, I didn't realize that. And then uh, DC Nation 03 is 20, number 3 is 25 cents. Got a couple Walking Dead brains, Carl, and the Governor. Loved both of these covers. Really great, both sides, Slizniak, Slizniak, or Slizniak, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. It's killing with those Walking Dead covers, and then... Here's some other ones. I got Jeepers Creepers cover A, I think that is, and cover B. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty creepy and stuff. Not all these I got at the shop, like the, like the Decent Nation, the Governor, and the Carl ones I got at the shop. The Jeepers Creepers I did not. Um, we got Deep Roost issue number one. I think this is the cover A. I might be wrong, it could be opposite. This is cover B from here, so that's pretty cool. I didn't really enjoy that series at all. I thought it was kind of dumb. I heard some decent things about that, but I didn't think it was very good. And I read this one by... This was one from Midtown Comics with the previous comics, except the Decent Nation and the Walking Dead ones. So we got Ant Antar the Black Knight. It's new number one. I haven't read it yet. So that's interesting. Image Expo 2018 Preview. I don't even know how much this costs. I probably like a dollar or so. But I, I saw on the shelf and I was like, that's interesting. I'll check it out. Um, so, now I got Gideon Falls issue, oh, second printing, that's why it's there. Gideon Falls issue number one, second printing, and issue number two. Uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, I haven't read it yet, so I heard great things of Gideon Falls, and I, I don't know why it was just passed up. I guess I just forgot to add to my poll list. That's my biggest, that's my best theory. But these are no way in condition, i tell you that. Warren Corners, Spine Ticks, I'm not really too picky about that at all. Some issues are better condition than ever, but I think this is a Infidel issue number one. I think this is the first printing, and this is a variant for number two. So, I'll check this real quick, see what printing is. If you don't know how to tell what a printing of a comic book is, yeah, first printing. If you look right, see what the 00111 is? So, the 00 is just oh, like the issue number, so issue one means first issue. First printing is the second issue, then... No, what cover and then what printing. So it's first issue, first cover, first printing. So then here's my pull list. I haven't read any of these. So we got East West 37. The Walking Dead New World, World Or 179. This is being a long video, I'll tell you that. Scales and Scoundrels, issue number nine. Really cool stuff. Scales and Scoundrels is incredible. East Nation number zero. I'll show you number copy of that one. Batman issue 46. Variant cover, of course. And then Death of Glory number one. This is a variant cover for Rick Remender. Hope that's good. I haven't, I haven't really heard anything really about it. I haven't watched any videos about it yet. So, I don't know if it's any good. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry about the brand. You could just skip it. You could skip it. I'll put a timestamp in the description. So, uh, give you a good time to skip to it. Almost nine minutes already. So, I should wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you subscribe if you haven't already. And... I do be doing my contest video in a few minutes, a few days. Bye-bye.